Today, what we'll be doing is we'll be looking at a quick, quick tutorial uh, to see how we can create adjustable and scalable progress bars in Figma. So if I just show you the final result, um, we have a single component that's being duplicated in different places. And as you can see, the same component is being used to create smaller and larger values of the progress bar. So how do we go about this? Let me just first create a simple frame where I'm gonna create the progress bar. Now, to get started, I wanna advise like everyone who wants to create something which is gonna contain an element to use artboard. So anything, anytime you want to create something that's gonna contain an element inside of it, please start using artboards. So let's go here. I'm gonna give this a width and a height. I'm just gonna use 48 because I like to work with eights or the multiples of eights or fours. So here you go. So we have this container and let's say I create a rectangle inside of it. I can also create like an artboard inside of it, but since I'm not gonna keep anything inside of this particular rectangle, um, I'm not gonna give it an artboard. However, if you want patterns, if you want anything else that's gonna be inside of it, dots, let's say, you can definitely use an artboard and then work with that. So now I have something like this. Let, let me just give this a different color as well to make it a bit more realistic. Let's say, let's go with green. So I have uh, this and I'm just gonna create an auto layout. So I created an auto layout using shift A. However, you can create an auto layout by just pressing the plus button here. I think like this spacing on the edges is quite a lot. So I'm just gonna give it a, sorry, I'm just gonna give the spacing a four. So I think this looks good. And obviously we can just make this zero. One thing that I definitely want to do for the progress bars is give this a radius. I'm going to give the inner child a radius as well or something really large. So let me just increase this by six. So here's your progress bar component. And I'm just going to make, I'm just going to rename it to progress bar test. And I'm going to create a component. I'm also going to rename the inner rectangle to be value. And as you can see, this progress bar works, but obviously it's, it doesn't scale properly. So for it to scale properly, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna say fill container. And I can obviously go here and say fill container, but here's a shortcut to make it fill as well. So I'm gonna click this and now the inner child is gonna fill the container of the progress bar. So now as you can see, it's scalable, it works well. Now the problem that people face is that now when they want a variation where one of the progress bars is let's say 100% but this one they want let's say 50%. A lot of people get confused but it's pretty easy to actually accomplish something like that. So the way that you do it is you just go ahead and add a right padding to this uh, container. So if I go like 250 that's going to be roughly half. It's not going to be exactly half because I have a six pixels padding on the left as well. So I can obviously uh, add four to it or some, or sorry, reduce four or six from this. And that should be, I think like pretty much equal uh, or like 50%. And the same I can do here if I want to let, let's say, decrease the spacing or decrease the value of the progress bar, I can just increase the padding. And that's how you actually just go about quickly creating these progress bars and the same layout or the same principle can be applied when you're, let's say, trying to create bar graphs. So this can be a bar graph if you wanna go ahead and create something like that. Obviously you can go ahead and you can remove the radius uh, from the inner child as well. And you can have bar graphs that look something like this. And yeah, that's a really quick way to create scalable and adjustable progress bars and bar graphs or something along those lines. So that's it. If there's anything else that you'd like to know or would you like to would you or would like me to go through in Figma, then definitely let me know and I'll see you then.